excellent. I'm uh, quite well. Uh, I have IBS, uh, which is Irritable Bowel Syndrome, if you don't know what that is. I also have uh, PCOS, which is Polycystic Ovarian Syndrome. I like to put those collections of letters at the end of my name and pretend I went to university. <laughs> Rather than regularly shitting my barren self. <laughs> You're welcome. I, uh, I moved uh, from the city uh, two years ago into the middle of nowhere, which is great. It has its good side, it has its bad side. The bad side is that a power cut, we had a power cut recently, that instead of being an hour, maybe an hour or two, that it would be in the city, it was 26 hours long. A power cut that was 26 hours long. My husband, because he's really brave and quite the hero, uh, uh, he went, <laughs> sorry, um, he went foraging for pizza. Um, and he said to me, while I'm gone, don't waste the, the power on the flashlight. He said, why don't you just light some candles? Great idea. Now, I'm not a very girly girl, so candles are never something I would buy for myself. But luckily, I have a lot of friends who don't really know me very well. Um, <laughs> So I have a lot of scented candles, so I lit a few, and by the time my husband came back in, I was relaxed, horny, and excited for Christmas. <laughs> but I went for a massage recently. Give me a cheer if you've ever been for a massage. It's nice, isn't it? It's nice. I like the bit at the end. I like the bit where you feel all floppy and relaxed. I don't really like the process. I find... Uh, the act of being stood or lying in front of somebody you don't know just in your knickers quite stressful. So what happens is I book the massage and I get really stressed out leading up to the appointment and the best she can do is get me back down to the level of stress I was at before I booked the appointment. <laughs> I had a massage and she said, this is an aromatherapy massage. I said, that's correct. She said, I have three aromatherapy oils for you to choose from. I'd like you to smell each one and pick the best one, the one that you like the most. So she wafted the first one under my nose and I said, is that, is that eucalyptus? Is it eucalyptus? Is, that, is it menthol? Is it mint? Is it eucalyptus? Is it eucalyptus? And she said, you don't have to guess what it is. <laughs> so she put that one down, she brought the other one up, she wafted it in front of my nose and I, I sniffed and I said, is that, is that lemon? Is it lemon? Is it citrus? Is it citrus? Is it grapefruit? Could it be grapefruit? It's definitely citrus. Tell me it's citrus. And she said, it's not a quiz. Now, the third one, I liked the smell of, I didn't recognize it, so I chose that one. And she read the label off the bottle and she said, oh, that's happy. <laughs> I was never gonna win the quiz, was I? <laughs> My two worst things, I think, about having a massage, uh, I don't like the bit where they teach you how to breathe, but what they do, they say, breathe in, and I go, and breathe out. <laughs> I would have died. <laughs> one thing I don't like, and I apologize if there's anybody in the room who is one of these, I don't like a skinny massage therapist. I don't like the one I have at the moment is about my size, maybe a little bigger. I don't like a skinny massage therapist. They've never said anything to me, but I think while they're massaging me, they're doing this in their head. Uh, uh, uh. She opens the door and shouts out, I'm gonna need more time, it's a bigger surface area than I was expecting. <laughs> but I do have an internal monologue uh, the whole time I'm being massaged, the whole time. Like outside I am the picture of composure, but in my mind it's going crazy. So it depends where she starts, if she starts at my feet, I'm like, oh, tickly feet, tickly feet, tickly feet, tickly feet. She works her way up and I think, oh God, she's getting to the patch of broken veins on the back of my leg that I don't really like. And as she works her way up, too close to me, nunny, too close to me, nunny. <laughs> Vagina. Um. <laughs> so I'm lying there, covered and happy. And uh, it's a very different version of Snow White and the Seven Dwarves than I'm expecting. And the massage comes to an end and she says to me, they always put on their kind of velvety, chocolatey voice then, don't they, at the end of a massage. And she says to me, um, there's absolutely no rush. You just take your time. There's no rush. Absolutely no rush at all. You just take your time. What she didn't know is that I'd been holding in a fart for 40 minutes. <laughs> Now, 
The door had barely clicked shut when I let out the loudest, most tromboniest fart I've ever had. I was in the middle of potentially the best fart of my life. And I do rank them. When she came back in with a glass of water. And I half expected her to go, is that, is that egg, is that egg, is that rotten egg, is that... She had, I would have said, no love, that's happy. <laughs> You've been amazing. Thank you ever so much. Good night.